Join post game now with Shannon Doyle after the Terriers beat the Providence College Friars three to one. Shannon, you had the game-winning goal in the game and absolute snipe there from the blue <laughs> line. What, what, you, what were you thinking there? You kind of thought about it for a second and finally took the shot, got it through traffic. Yeah, well, we've been working on it all year, getting our forwards to the net, screening for us up top. And Maddie Elia made a really good play. As soon as she won the draw, she went straight to the net. And as soon as I saw her in front, I was like, let's just go for it. And either she'll tip it or hopefully it goes in. And it worked out, so it was really good. Back and forth, first half of the game, a lot of penalties on both sides. Turning point seemed to be the timeout called by head coach <laughs> Brian DeRocher, you know, what did he say and what really changed from that point forward? Um, I think, well, obviously, um, Coach DeRocher is a very good coach. He made a timely um, call there, getting a break for us, and he really just told us to respect the jersey. We need to play to our level, and we weren't doing that at that point. We were making turns to the stopping and starting, not winning our individual battles, and not playing as a full unit out there, and he just really pointed out to us that that's what we need to be doing, and that's what's going to win us the really big games down the road, and it starts now, not in March when we really want to win those games. So it was uh, kind of firing us up there. <laughs> you guys have been unbeaten in your last seven games now, and now you go a lengthy break. Don't play for almost a month. How do you guys handle that, and especially when you got a big game waiting for you against BC on the other side? Mm -hmm. Well, luck, we're really fortunate here with having Walter Brown to ourselves. So um, even though we don't have games, we have the ice every day so we can come out here, practice, work on skills. Our coaches stay around for us, and if we need to go on the ice with them, they're here for us. So we can really use the ice even though we're not playing games and having full team practices, which is a privilege I think a lot of schools don't have, and we really take advantage of it to keep us ready for the upcoming games when we do come back after the break. We haven't had a chance to talk to you yet this year. If you missed all of last season, now you're back, you know, putting a lot of pucks in front of the net, a lot of assists. How's it been being back out on the ice here? Awesome. I mean, I missed it so much last year. It was really difficult watching the team and being actually up doing the stats with uh, Kevin up here and just watching the team play all season. But, I mean, it actually was a really big learning point for me, I think. Um, I mean, you can take down points in your life either – as learning opportunities are just a huge negative and I really try to take it as learning opportunity to be able to see the ice watching so many games you learn how people react to certain plays and who drives the net you pick up a lot more on your teammates just watching versus being on the ice with them in a different way so I really think uh, even though it was really unfortunate having to sit out all year it was um, a good learning point for me personally and to help me grow as a player well it's great to have you back on the ice congrats on the win and look forward to the game against BC in a month yeah Thank you. This <laughs> post game here with Shannon Doyle. Terriers will have a month off before they take on BC, and they'll be back home Saturday, January 10th, to take on Maine right here on Terrier TV.